Good afternoon everybody. Welcome back to my channel if you've been before. If this is your first time here, I'm Nathan. I'm a landscape photographer from Brisbane and right now I'm out in the scenic rim. I uh, obviously come out here quite a lot, but I'm in a familiar location, but not the exact spot I've been before. I'm just out past Rathdowney, uh, looking towards Mount Barney and Mount Maroon. There is a spot that's a bit further up I usually stop at, but there's been a bit of rain out here lately and driving past I just couldn't help but stop here because it's just the field is just beautiful and green with the mountain in the background so I've already taken two shots uh, with my Fujifilm panoramic G617 camera I've got Kodak Ektar 100 loaded which is my favorite Kodak film um, nice and vibrant colors medium contrast and pretty good dynamic range so I took a shot out here with uh, Mount Maroon almost in the center more or less in the center of the frame um, I did two shots, the exact same composition, exact same exposure. The only difference was in the second shot, I had a uh, graduated neutral density filter in. Ektar's got pretty good dynamic range, but the sun is pretty bright. So it's a three stop filter just to try and bring that sun down a little bit, but hopefully not make the mountain too dark. Now that I've got that shot, I don't know that it's going to be amazing though. I don't have any clouds in the sky at all. Just some nice colour in the field here because of the, the yellow light on the green grass. But now that I've got that shot, I am just going to try and grab a different shot. Just looking here into the field. I've got a bit of a valley coming together. And there's some trees with a bit of light on them at the moment. So I'm just going to take a shot of those with the panoramic camera. And then I might throw the Hasselblad on. So I'm just going to grab my meter and grab a meter reading now and just uh, see what we get. So I've got my Minolta spot meter like I usually do. I'll take uh, two meter readings. One from some shadowy areas. If I shoot at f32, that's giving me half a second. If I take a more highlight area, it's only one stop difference. So if we're half a stop at f32, I'll get a really nice deep depth of field and that should give me a nice exposure. Just fixing up my composition slightly. F32, half a second, I've wound it on, cocked the shutter. Here we go. So that's my third frame, but second composition with this camera. So this is my view looking out towards Mount Maroon, just here coming into frame. So that's the mountain that was the main subject of my first panoramic composition. And as you can see, the scenery here is just looking absolutely beautiful this afternoon. Now I'm just gonna take you around to my second composition. So just looking in here is more or less what my second composition was. A lot narrower obviously, but just down into that little grove of trees in the valley. So now I have switched the Hasselblad on. I've got the 150 millimeter lens on. So that's my medium lens, a short telephoto. It's giving me a really nice tight shot of Mount Maroon um, with a bit of that side lighting coming onto the, the paddock. So the, the mountain itself is obviously gonna be quite dark, but let's grab a meter reading here. I'm not gonna be shooting at F32, obviously. I'm gonna shoot this at F11. And that's giving me 1 30th of a second. And that's gonna, there's no point using the grad filter at the moment because I've got a clear sky. The sun is actually out of frame. So if I shoot at F11, 1 30th of a second, that should give me some nice light on that field and the mountain should be, everything should be nice and sharp. Okay, 1 30th of a second, F11, focus to infinity, mirror locked up. This is the first time I've used the Hasselblad in a little while. I've missed using it. Let me see, there might be composition of Mount Barney. 
I ended up switching lenses out on the Hasselblad for the 250mm for my longer telephoto lens. Um, so I've got a, a tight crop of Mount Barney with this little, there's like a little termite or ant hill or something like that, and some in the foreground and some trees in the midground. It's not going to be an amazing shot, but it should look pretty nice. I've got f22 just to try and get a nice depth of field with the longer lens, and I'm shooting at 1 15th of a second. Mirror up, the dark side is not in, so let's grab this. So the thing I'm counting on today is just that light, the sunlight just making things pop. I might point the long lens over this way a bit. I do have a bit of a lone tree over here. Not sure if it'll make a nice subject. No, it's still too far out. But it's nice just to point the camera around a bit in this sort of situation with the long lens. See if you can get any little vignettes of the, of the landscape. See if there's anything that can catch your eye. Like I like these little ant mounds just here. I'm gonna try and put them bottom center of my frame. And I might shoot with a large aperture. Just see if I can blur a bit of the background out. Yeah, hopefully that will. I'm gonna shoot at f8 to try and get them both in focus. The one's a little bit further away. It's not far, so hopefully f8 we'll be able to get them both in, in focus, but still blur out some of the background. So what I'll do, I'll take a meter reading directly on the little ant hills um, and that way if the rest of the exposure is not quite right it won't matter too much. I am shooting, I forgot to say, I'm shooting with Fuji Pro 160 NS, my favorite color negative film. Unfortunately I have just found out Fuji have discontinued this film which is very very sad for me but that's what happens these days with not many of us shooting film so I'll just have to keep stocking up. I've got a fair stock of it now and just be a little bit more frugal with how I use it. F8, 1 30th of a second. I'm focused on the actual ant hills themselves. So now I'm just gonna lock my mirror up. 1 30th of a second. All right. All right, hopefully that shot turns out pretty cool. It's just something a little bit different. And that might be my main shots done today. So I might, while I've got probably about 10 minutes of light left, maybe I'll just have a bit of a play around. Well, I ran out of light. Um, I did shoot all four frames in the panoramic camera. So that gives me something to get sorted out, to get developed. I didn't finish all of the frames in the Hasselblad, but I did shoot probably about half a roll. So I'm gonna pack up and head back towards home. But while it was a quick trip out, I did have a really nice time. I might've got a couple of nice photos. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and I do apologize if there's a bit of wind noise. I'm trying to keep the microphone shielded, but it is a bit windy. Thank you so much for watching though. I really do appreciate it. If you have any feedback or any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. But once again, thanks for coming. I'll uh, see you again next time.